I can't even believe this bag. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Isabel here and today I am finally revealing the bag that I got from Hermes this last week. I just cannot believe that I even have this bag and it's not what I expected and not what you might have expected if you do follow my channel. Um, I haven't spoken about this so it is a little bit of a surprise here. So I wanted to show you what I got first and then wanted to also share with you the backstory on what happened and why I ended up with this beauty so stay tuned for the later part of the video if you want to know the full story how it went down anyway if you're new to my channel i'm so glad you're here i am isabel and i do videos on fashion and luxury and i would just love it if you hit the subscribe button so we can all be friends on youtube anyways so you might be able to guess from the size of the box that it is a rather small bag is it a tiny little birkin tiny little kelly or is it a constance i'd love to know your guesses in the comments below so do take a guess before you see the reveal i also did a little tease on Instagram stories and ask you guys what your guesses are as to what this bag is so if you don't follow me on Instagram I do share a little more on Instagram um, a bit more frequently so I'd love it if you follow me there as well anyways I think I kept you guys in suspense long enough so let's get into the box all right am I even ready for this it's a major major pinch me moment but I cannot wait to share with you guys the ribbon comes off There is our little care booklet. I normally fast forward this bit, but I may not even do that with this video because I just want to savor every moment of opening up this box. Tiny, tiny, dinky little bag. I think you can all guess by now what type of bag it is. Again, not exactly on my wish list, but I can so see myself rocking this. It's going to be so versatile and so amazing in my collection and for my wardrobe. So yes, without further suspense. Guys, can you see the bag? I got the mini Kelly 2 or the Kelly size 20 in the black Epsom leather with the amazing gold hardware. Oh my goodness, I, I don't know what happened and why this ended up being available at the time, which I'll share the backstory in a minute. But for the time being, let's just enjoy viewing this little beauty. So I am sure you've all seen Mini Kelly's before, but it is the tiniest little bag. The reason why it's called Mini Kelly 20 or Kelly 20 is because it measures 20 centimeters across and it's a basic Kelly bag really but the size is pretty rare to come by and especially in a more neutral color I believe it is quite rare to come by and I really wanted gold hardware this time because the majority of my Hermes bag collection actually is palladium hardware which is their silver toned hardware so this is actually one thing that I did specify to my sales associate that I do actually want gold hardware this time. So let's undo her. So it comes with the felt as usual. It's so small guys. Oh, and the plastic is already coming off. And you guys, I am definitely keeping this bag and this bag is not going anywhere. So let's unwrap all of the plastic and on the inside is the shoulder strap. So the Mini Kelly does come with a shoulder strap still, which is actually a lot thinner than the larger size Kelly's. And the length hit me quite well. I'm gonna insert some photos from the store of me trying on the bag and also share some modeling shots on screen. I just cannot thank my essay enough, but he was so funny. He was just sort of handing me the bag as if like, are you sure you want to take this? It's not at your Birkin 25. It was just so casual and I just love that about him. We have such a casual relationship and it was just so sweet of him to make sure that I am actually in love with this bag, which I am, but thank you, SA. 
And basically, that is all that comes with this bag. You guys know that Kelly bags come with a little clochette normally, this key and lock. But with the mini size Kelly, it does not come with one of those locks and clochettes. But I guess because it is such a small bag, uh, the proportions might be a little off. Everything's just so little. I mean, the hardwares are pretty much the same size as the Kelly 25 hardwares, but the strap clasp is so little and dinky as well. So yes, that is my new Hermes bag. An interior is pretty simple. You've just got the one compartment and you just have one slip pocket and inside leather feels really, really soft. I think this is some sort of a Nappa leather type. It's really, really delicate. I might actually get a bag liner for this. So when I first saw this bag, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so tiny. It's even smaller than I thought. But the selling point of this bag was that you guys, the phone actually fits. So I've got the iPhone 12 Pro, not the Mac size, but the regular size Pro. And it actually fits really easily, even with the case. I've actually noticed that there aren't many uh, videos on YouTube on the Mini Kelly. And the few videos that I had watched all said that the phone doesn't really fit straight, but it fits diagonally. So I was really surprised to find out that the phone actually fits quite easily and you can still fit quite a bit of things in there. So that was the selling point. It definitely fits a similar amount for me as a Chanel square mini flap. And that type of capacity is more than enough for me, especially on an evening out. So that is my new baby. Let me just attach the shoulder strap and show you. That is the shoulder strap attached. With Epsom leather, I do find that the straps can be quite stiff, but it still does the job and I suppose with a little bit of use the leather might soften but yeah let's get into the little story on what happened and why I ended up with this bag. So I set it down at the back here so we have a little more eye candy while we're having a little chat about what went down. So you guys probably know that I do live in Sydney and I shop at the Sydney boutique where I feel like we don't get as much shipment of bags but they have a lot of clients and a lot of Sydney ciders love luxury and Hermes. So it is known to be pretty difficult to get a lot of bags from the Sydney store. So technically Hermes can offer you two bags like Burke and Kelly and Constance per year. Actually Constance isn't even a quota bag but still you know it is pretty hard to get. So when we're talking those popular in-demand bags generally the Hermes rule is that you can get two bags a year so every six months but in Sydney, I do know that it is pretty unrealistic for an average person to get two bags a year. So I always kind of knew that my wait between bags is going to be, you know, a bit longer. So I'd be completely happy if I got offered a bag, say, you know, once a year. So my last Birkin or Kelly offer from Sydney store was this one here. So this is my special order Cray Kelly 25, which I placed the order 2020 September and the bag arrived last year, 2021, February. So it's been almost a year since I was able to buy a Birkin or a Kelly from the Sydney boutique. So I knew that I had to wait a little bit. So, you know, as I do, I do love a lot of things from Hermes, but I don't have unlimited funds. So I generally budget and buy things that I really like. So as I do, I just went to see my essay every month or every two months to pick up something that I've been eyeing and also to keep our relationship going. And my next wish list bag has always been a Birkin 25 in a neutral color. And my first preference would have been the gold color, which is the yummy Hermes tan color that they're so known for with gold hardware preferably. But I did tell my essay I'm open to other neutrals like the Itan, Itube, you know, something that's really easy to incorporate into my wardrobe. And also something that is going to be somewhat carefree because all my bags right now are kind of, you know, bags that I need to baby. Like this color is just something that I need to baby. It is beautiful but it's not exactly a carefree color bag. So that's what I said to my essay and I already have a Birkin size 30. So this time I really, really want a baby Birkin size 25. So I've always been asking for this since I picked up my Kelly earlier last year. And then earlier this year, I was supposed to go see my essay first thing in January because there was new ready to wear spring summer collection 
launching and you guys know that I had the cardigan on my wish list which is called the micro cardigan I really wanted to try that out so I made an appointment to go see him very early January and then unfortunately that appointment was cancelled on the day because my essay had to isolate because he's been a close contact with a COVID confirmed case so the store called me unfortunately your sales associate is not going to be available for another week so I had to reschedule the appointment which I was a little bit disappointed with because Irma's ready to wear especially popular pieces in the smaller sizes always sell out pretty quickly so I made another appointment with my essay about 10 days after that so I went in sort of mid-January and I actually tried on the cardigan I didn't really love it the shape didn't really suit me it was a little boxy on me and I wanted to try the smaller size which is a size 34 but they didn't have any because it sold out so I only had the size 36 to try and it was just too boxy on me so I said oh I'm gonna leave it there were two twillies that I um, reserved to pick up that day so I actually picked up the two twillies which I'll show you in maybe a future video because there are a couple of bits and pieces that I picked up from Hermes just before like those twillies and at the same time that I picked up this bag so if you're interested to see a random little haul I'm more than happy to do that so I'll share the twillies in that video so as I was picking up the twillies the twilly colorway is kind of the cream because I got it for my crepe bag it's got some gold tones so I kind of brought up the conversation I said you know I'm getting my twillies ready and everything remember I'm still waiting for the Birkin 25 in a neutral color preferably gold and my essay kept saying you have to keep your wish list a little bit more open uh, you need to give me some choices so I actually put down my preferences for a mini Kelly as well so I told my essay I really want the Birkin 25 but back last year I actually told him if there's really nothing coming in anytime soon then I'm open to a mini Kelly as well but I know mini Kellys are really popular and they are probably even more in demand because you probably get less shipments of the mini Kelly and he said yeah that's correct but are you open to all sorts of colors so I did actually say to him yeah a fun pop of color is great because the mini Kelly is such a tiny little bag I think I can you know incorporate it with all my Zimmerman dresses and everything so yeah I didn't really specify a color for my mini Kelly and to be honest my essay then said there might be a black mini Kelly but you wanted a fun pop of color so I said yeah I didn't really think about a black mini Kelly but mainly because I knew the neutral colored mini Kellys will be so 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 difficult to get so I didn't want to put that in my wish list when I thought that was a little unrealistic for me to ask for a neutral color mini Kelly so then my essay said okay well let's see what happens uh, and I basically told him whatever comes first I am actually quite happy with a mini Kelly or the Birkin 25 so then the next day he called me and said Isabel I was able to secure a black mini Kelly for you but it is not a fun color are you sure that you want to take a black mini Kelly and you don't want to wait for your golden gold Birkin 25 and I said you know what for the black mini Kelly I think the Birkin 25 can wait because I know realistically I love a lot of things from Hermes and I'm still going to be his client so I told him you can always try and get me a Birkin 25 next year or the year after I can be very very patient and he said well then the mini Kelly has your name on it come have a look at it he said you still don't need to take it you can still say no to it if you still want to wait for your ultimate Birkin 25 first because he was very honest with me he said to me if you take the mini Kelly I can't get you a Birkin 25 for a while it's going to be longer than six months because a mini Kelly is a very popular in-demand bag that other people have to have their turns and get offered bags before I can you know put you forward to the store manager again I said yeah, that's fine let me come and check out the bag so a few days later I went to see him as soon as I arrived he was like let me grab it for you anyway so he comes out with this box and it was basically still in this plastic vacuum packaging completely sealed up and it had my name on it uh, so he opened it up and I had a look at it and what can I say I just completely fell in love with it as soon as I saw this I actually wore this same dress into the store because I kind of wanted to visualize the black mini Kelly with an outfit that I would actually wear it with so this is an older season Hermes silk dress that I bought because I just fell in love with it you've actually seen this on my Instagram before as well this is about over a year old actually and when I saw that my phone fit in it I was like no more questions asked 
I am taking this mini Kelly. So basically my essay still told me, are you sure you don't want to wait for your Birkin 25? What if it comes in the next couple of months and you miss out? And I said, other people can have their turns, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be patient. I'll just wait another year or however long I need to wait as like a non VIP person. Um, yes. Yeah, so I am super, super happy with this bag. And the other reason I took this is because for my current lifestyle, I actually do think that this black mini Kelly, I'll get a little more use out of over the Birkin 25 because I do love a little bag that I can take out for little dinners, meeting friends, friends and all of that. The Birkin 25 to me is still a bit of a day bag because it is an open tote. So during the day, I do have other casual bags that I can wear and use that is of that sort of size, like my low Bay puzzle bag. So I thought, you know what? I don't have a really, really fancy evening bag. I do have my Chanel mini square flap in the same color combination, the black lambskin with the gold hardware. And I actually use that bag so, so, so much. But even then, I feel like even the square mini flap, especially in the square size, is still a little more casual silhouette. Yes, it does work as an evening bag, but I feel like this bag is just the epitome of a luxury evening bag in the most perfect color combination for my evening outfits. I know I didn't really go into details on the bag itself. If you've got any questions about the Mini Kelly, if you want me to do a little comparison between it and some other mini bags, or if you have general questions about it, do leave them in the comments below. I might do a little Q&A on the Mini Kelly because like I said, there aren't that many YouTube videos on the Mini Kelly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for letting me share my joy and being here on my channel. Before I go, I'll leave some Hermes videos on screen for you to check out if you haven't watched them already. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really greatly helps my channel out. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys!